This is air for labs Hello and welcome again, dear pilots. This time it's something very essential but very important. That's why we did not include the video in the regular tutorial series. Today it's about how to set your joystick, yoke or rudder controller in general. It's crucial to set your main control axis correctly as this relates very directly to the controllability of the aircraft in X-Plane and it influences how pleasant and realistic your overall experience is. It is important to understand that we have tried to replicate the real airplane behavior and that's why our Cessna may be perceived as too sensitive to control inputs. Therefore, we need to unify the reality with the world of flight simulation by using correct settings to have a pleasant and realistic experience. For example, in reality, the pitch travel of a real Cessna 172 yoke is approximately 35 centimeters or almost 14 inches. So compared to an average gaming joystick, the travel in the real world 172 is four times larger. Therefore, the sensitivity of the joystick could be four times higher. But that is not all, as the control forces are much higher in the real world compared to the average joystick resistance. So overall, you end up with extremely high sensitivity. So let's see what the best setting for an average joystick is. We open the settings window, click on joystick, select appropriate joystick controller. There is a button named control sensitivity. Let's click on it. First, make sure the stability augmentation sliders are all back to 0%. Now push all sliders of control response to 100%. This seems to be optimal setting for most joysticks. Actually, I have set also 100% for YO input. This is subjective, but it seems to be optimal for most rudder pedals too. The cause is that even though maybe gaming rudder controller could have similar travel to the real rudders, the forces are even higher in real 172 than in the yoke pitch axis. The resulting jerkiness of rudder control is not a pleasant simulation experience and it is better to exchange a little bit of realism with practicality of use. For yoke controllers, it could be different for the roll axis setting. It depends how much travel the yoke controller has. But for example, a honeycomb alpha yoke has a very nice travel of plus and minus 90 degrees. In this specific case, the best setting for the roll slider is 0%. In case you have a yoke controller with plus minus 45 degrees travel, I would recommend to set the roll slider to 50%. Now let's close the control sensitivity setting. One very important comment. The control sensitivity in reality changes the response curves of different axes but only and only in case there is no responsive curve added to the axis first. So if, for example, we would set some response curve to an axis like this, the control sensitivity settings would have no influence and in case you want it set via control sensitivity window, you need to clear previous axis setting like this okay pilots that's all for now and i'm looking forward to the next video which will be about how to set your honeycomb alpha and bravo controllers